what we did actually is to uh, assess whether or not the trap two expression, which which is the the target of sazitumab, will be taken, uh, impact the um, the response to to the drug. So what uh, we did is that. Um, a patient with evaluable and non-evaluable trap two expressions um, were uh, included in the analysis. And uh, what we show is that they have comparable median PFS and overall survival to that of the overall population in the court one. So uh, just to remind the court one of the trophy trial where patients previously treated with uh, platinum-based chemotherapy and, and PD-1 and P or PDL1 inhibitor. So, this uh, exploratory analysis showed that high and medium, medium trap 2 expression uh, was uh, frequent in metastasic urocellular carcinoma around uh, 95%. And that activity for um, sazitumab go be taken was noted across trap 2 expression levels. So meaning that across low, medium, and high trap 2 expression group, the overall response uh, was 20%, 27%, and 34% uh, respectively. And uh, median PFS and uh, median overall survival was similar between high and medium group. Uh, the, the issue of this analysis is that um, uh, there was a limited sample across all TROP2 uh, expression level prevent definitive assessment of clinical activity and needs, of course, uh, further confirmation in the ongoing uh, phase two and phase three trial. Um, and uh, just to remind that there is uh, still um, some court um, open in uh, the uh, trophy uh, trial, and we are also uh, conducting a phase three uh, trial, Tropics uh, 04 uh, trial, where we will assess the uh, correlation between trop two expressions and uh, response to sazitumab uh, going taken.